Breaking news that we're following from Wayne County. Yes, and that is where a shooting in Inkster then led to a deadly crash involving multiple vehicles in a Dearborn Heights intersection. Victor Williams has been following this story for us throughout the morning, trying to track back to what exactly led up to all of this. Victor, good morning. Yes, good morning, Rhonda and Avron. So this is the intersection where it all happened right here at Ford and Inkster. And the reason why you're not seeing any vehicles right now that have been crashed is because the scene has been completely cleared. But we do know that one woman has now died. Now, sources say that multiple people were shot and they were actually on their way to the hospital. And there was someone that was transporting them there, uh, racing down Inkster, apparently. And we know uh, that a, that According to police, they ran a red light, and this is the result. We're going to show you the footage from what happened moments uh, before all of this was cleared out. You can see the debris out here on the ground. You could also see multiple SUVs. We counted three of them, and we're also told that after that woman was ejected, unfortunately, she was ran over by another car, and it took a tow truck to get out here to lift up that car in order to get that body from underneath it. But we know that two people were also found in the car with several gunshot wounds. Their condition is unknown at this time. The vehicle they were driving and also had multiple bullet holes in it. Now, Dearborn Heights police are saying that the crash stemmed from an incident that you're about to look at now that originated in Inkster. As you can see from the video playing, police are looking over all the evidence trying to figure out what exactly happened here. We tried to reach out to Inkster police and all they could confirm at this point in time was that they are investigating a shooting. So we are working on finding out more information. And once we do, we'll keep everyone updated. In the meantime, we are reporting live in Dearborn Heights. Victor Williams, Local 4, back to you. Victor, thank you.